So here's another really quick example for Gauss's law for electric fields. So in this case, we have a charge uh, that is distributed uniformly with the density of rho naught, which is in coulombs per meters cubed. So it is distributed not on a line, but in a volume. And that volume is a spherical volume uh, of radius A. And so if we were to draw this, uh, what this would look like would be uh, something like this. And so in this case, um, we are considering that from here to here is A. So this is where the charge is distributed inside of here equally, inside of here. And so how would we go about, uh, what they're asking us for is to determine the electric field intensity both inside and outside. So electrical field intensity both inside and outside of this sphere. So we recall then that Gauss's law states that if we do d dot ds, which is the surface area, some closed surface, uh, that that's got to equal to the volume of the the charge density contained in the volume. So this here. And we're asking for electric field intensity, so we also need to uh, recall that that is related to, to the current displacement by the permittivity, so dividing by the permittivity. So what does this look like? So the left side of this equation is just the D integrated over the surface of the sphere. And so that's just going to be D times the equation for a sphere, which is 4 pi r squared. And so where r is just how far out we want to ask. So r could be um, r could be inside our sphere, so it could be here, or r could be outside our sphere. I mean, we could go outside where the charge is contained. So we need to keep that in mind. So that being the case, that means we're going to have two scenarios then. Um, first scenario is it'll be, be the charge inside the volume. So the volume of a sphere uh, is 4 thirds pi r cubed, so that we're inside the sphere, times the charge density. So it'll be the charge inside that sphere. So that's going to vary with r, right? So the bigger our r value, the more charges inside of there. And so but that will increase as we continue to move closer and closer to the edge of the sphere, where it can where be more and more charge contained in this, or the sphere that we defined. Now, once we pass this point and go outside the sphere, then our equation changes a little bit. Then it's 4 thirds uh, pi a cubed rho naught. And so the reason for that is... Once we get outside the sphere, um, we've contained all the charge. So we we have we have if once we go out here, there's no more charge out in this area. So we have contained we have reached the maximum charge that is contained in there. And so this would be for r less than a, which means we're inside the sphere, and this is for r greater than a when we're outside the sphere. So this is our two equations there. So now uh, we need to divide, divide both sides of this, of these equations, by 4 pi r squared. And we also need to divide by uh, the permittivity to get us to e. So when we do that, we do those both in one step then. So in that case, e, which we said was d over... Uh, permittivity or epsilon. It's going to have two conditions. Uh, the first one uh, will have just the r's cancel out, so the r cubed and the r squared just re reduced to r, so it'll be uh, rho naught r um, divided by 3 epsilon. And then that's for are less than a so inside the sphere if we if we define our sphere 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 of interest that inside the sphere that contains the charge 
then this would be that equation. Now, if we go outside the sphere with our sphere of interest, then the equation becomes rho naught uh, a cubed divided by three epsilon naught r squared. And again, that's for r greater than a. So this is our expression for the electric field intensity, both inside and outside of the sphere. And um, yeah, so the difference being, um, you know, on the bottom, we've gone outside this A, radius of A, so all the charge is contained. And so we have to account for all the charge in that uh, expression, whereas uh, in the top one, we're, as we move our radius further and further out, we're containing more and more of the charge that's inside the sphere um, because it's distributed evenly throughout the sphere.